welcome to Realistic Reviews. On today's review, I'm going to review the Cobra 80 pound self cocking mini crossbow. And I, I kind of like this thing. I mean, like when I bought it, it was supposed to be the aluminum body one and they sent the plastic. And then when I, did, when I sent them a, an email about it, they just ignored me. I don't remember who, where I bought it from. It was a long time ago. But they were kind of dick, so whoever you are, fuck you. But for just a little plastic crossbow, it's actually not bad. It, it came with the iron sights on it, and it was the most inaccurate fucking piece of shit ever. You could not sight it in. It's always constantly changing itself. So I took that off, and I put a little cheap red dot on here, and it's better. It's still not that accurate. And I actually haven't sighted this in, so I don't know how accurate it is. But the trigger on it is actually surprisingly smooth. And this is made out of fiberglass. So it's going to last a while. You get the strings pretty cheap. you got to string it yourself and then get it. But it's, it's actually really easy. And all you do is you cock it and you go and... The bolts for it are like this. They also make the plastic ones. This is the aluminum version. I actually don't like the aluminum ones because when you shoot into something, it'll go all the way into there and then you pull off from this. And this plastic part will just pop right off and you're going to lose a bolt. Also, a lot of times when you shoot it, this part just breaks right off. The plastic ones actually last a lot longer. So if you do get something like this, I'd consider getting the plastic bolts instead. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there, I'm going to cock it, and I'm going to shoot it, and we'll see what kind of damage it can do. So to cock it, you just push this button, hold the front, and just like that, it's cocked. It's actually made a weird noise when I did that, and it's kind of concerning, but screw it, I'm going to shoot it anyways. So obviously I wasn't standing too far away and I didn't even turn the red dot sight on and I still actually aimed fairly close to where, or hit fairly close to where I was aiming which was surprising for this. I managed to get the bolt back in one piece and pretty much the whole tip was in there and laying back considering I shot it in wood. Now if you shoot somebody or something, a living thing with this, it's going to do a lot of damage it could possibly kill so be careful with it. One thing I noticed is when I cocked this back, it did make a weird grinding noise, and it's never done that before. So that made me a little nervous with it. I thought it was just going to explode in my hands, but yeah, I, I think it's just dusty. I've had it sitting for a while. It's kind of old. But yeah, these are like $30 online, 30 ish And feel free to buy them. They're fun. They're just... Like, you're probably not going to be actually hunting with this. I mean, it's only 80 pounds, which would be suitable for, like, rabbits or squirrels, but you're never going to hit them. But other than that, if you're just fucking around in the yard shooting that shit, it's kind of fun. I, I, I'd say go buy one. Just I'd recommend getting the aluminum ones. But, yeah, that's my review. And if you have anything else you want to add, let me know in the comments down below.